recording. Hi, um, welcome back to our community spotlight. I'm Amy, the community manager at our Greenwood Village office. And today I am being joined with John, um, who owns Bedrock Accounting and Tax Solutions. John, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Um, so let's get into it. You are a little bit of a newer member here at Enterprise. Um, you got your little pup with you in the office today. Um, thanks again for um, taking time out to talk to us. So tell me a little bit about your company and what you do. Yeah, sure. Um, so the name of my company is Bedrock Accounting and Tax Solutions. Um, and we focus on uh, creating accounting processes for small business owners um, through the tax preparation process. And then we also prepare individual tax returns for, for clients as well. Perfect. Perfect. Um, how long have you been in business for? Uh, so we started or I started in 2019, August 2019. So I guess we're running up on five years now. Kind wow. of crazy to think about that <laughs> we've been on our we've been going strong for five years. Um and yeah, so uh we started out uh as systematic accounting solutions. Um and that was just you know on a whim trying to come up with a name for the business. Um and then we uh changed the name to bedrock, I want to say about a year ago, year about a year and a half ago. And tell me about the name, like how do how, where does that come from? Yeah. So Bedrock, um, you know, one of the things I noticed when I was um, working as a tax accountant, um, you know, at a, at a tax firm uh, was that, you know, a lot of people would come to us uh, to do their tax preparation, but their bookkeeping would, and their accounting processes would, would kind of be a mess. So when I kind of rebranded the business, I went for Bedrock to, uh, to kind of express foundation. Um, you know, and so what we try to do here at, you know, in my practice is create accounting processes and a strong foundation in the accounting processes, um, you know, that being bookkeeping, payroll, and, um, and that allows us, you know, that allows the business to grow um, and, and allows us to plan accordingly for the future. So, you know, bedrock meaning foundation, meaning that's, you know, let's kind of anchor ourselves in the accounting processes and then you know, the business can grow as big as it wants. Cool. I love the name. I think that makes perfect sense. And as a former small business owner myself, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate my accountant, like best money I spent on a monthly to make sure my books were in order, the number, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, paying that's... somebody to maintain all of that is... So yeah, and that's important. that's something that I I really wanted to focus on when I went out on my own. Um, you know, is is I want to be a little bit different in that you know I want to be available. I want to create a lasting relationship with my clients. You know, I don't want my clients to feel like they're just a unit or a cog in the wheel. You know, where I talk to them once a year, I send them a tax return. You know, one thing that I really try to focus on is client relationships. Um, you know, every client that, you know, every tax return we prepare, we uh, we review those tax returns on a Zoom meeting or in person, go line by line, you know, because I really want them to understand what it is we're doing. And so I think that's something that separates, uh, you know, our practice or, you know, what we try to do here compared to a lot of accountants out there. Right. Um, and, and I think that's really important. So. Amazing. Um, so, I mean, we've kind of, you just kind of stated about that, that that's kind of what's making you different from a lot of other um, companies in, in your same field is that taking that time. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, relationship with your clients. I mean, I think really at the end of the day, it's, you know, we're trying to fill the need of the client. And so, you know, I don't want to sell something that isn't, going to work for a client, you know, um, but generally if I'm going to do a client's tax return, for example, you know, I want to have a hand in the bookkeeping to create that foundation, you know, and for some clients, we do full service bookkeeping. Um, for some clients, you know, we do quarterly or, you know, biannual review of their books because they're not, you know, they don't really need 
full service. But the whole idea is, is to get them engaged in the accounting process and, and to coach them along the way. Right. And that makes doing the tax return so much easier. You right. Know, at, at they the have a the better day. understanding of what's, what's all going into that. Exactly. And that's important, you know, um, you know, it's they're signing a tax return and that's very important. They should right. know what they're signing. So, you know, I want to coach them and that's and I've gotten a lot of great feedback from clients where, you know, the first year we, we go over a tax return and they're kind of a deer in headlights, you know, but by the second, third, fourth year, you know, they're used to the process and now they actually understand, you know, what's going on with the tax return. And that's important because that gives them good information to make important business decisions. So, right. Hundred percent. Um, what made you choose enterprise co working? <laughs> um, well, I so I started out at remote. Um, when I started my company, uh, at my prior tax firm, we used to do a lot of meetings over Zoom, and so I was used to using Zoom. Um, and when I started my business, you know, just like any other small business, um, I really didn't have the, you know the cash flow to come in to cover an office or anything sure. like that. Um, and then after COVID and working for three, four years, um, I guess four years in a home office at my residence, uh, I just started going a little stir crazy. And, yeah. you know, I was, uh, you know, and it, it had gotten, we've gotten to the point now where having an office space is, is really important and allows me to stay focused. And so you know, I shopped around a little bit and um, Enterprise had a great rate and I came in and talked to you, Amy, and she showed me around and, you know, I really just enjoy, you know, the, the, just the casualness of it. You know, everybody here works hard, but you come in and, and, you know, you make friends and, and it's just a very comfortable place to, um, to work, you know, having access. I spend a lot of time here after hours. And yeah. so being able to come in here, you know, I came in on Sunday night at about 7 p.m. and left about 10 p.m. Yeah. And so just, you know, the, the you know, availability and, and just, um, you know, being able to come in when I need to, it, it's just great. Overall, it's been it's been such a good move. And I've seen actually just, um, you know, I've seen a lot of, uh, you know, my work is I've, I've definitely been a lot more efficient and um, a lot more focused not nearly as distracted as I was at home. So I love it here. Um, that is the greatest, great greatest move I've made so far. <laughs> but yeah, so to any of your friends that are working at home, tell them, you know, come check yeah. out the co-working space because I think it's good for your mental health too to have a separation of, you know, a home space where you can relax and then a workspace where you come to be productive and especially our members here in Greenwood Village I think it, you feel that people are here to get the job done to work to focus um you know and it's just a great place to come get your work done so yeah I mean I, I love I think having you yeah I appreciate it yeah I, I was last thing I'll say is just you know working at home um being a small business owner you can never really turn it off and it's it's the difference between being an employee versus being a business owner. An employee, you can clock out and you don't have to think about work. As a business owner, you know, you're kind of always on. You're right. always thinking about things. And so having the separation of, you know, home life and work life, that work life balance is super important. And I've seen, you know, um, my anxiety has gone way down and, and I feel a lot more accomplished after a, a long day here. So, yeah, um, I appreciate everything that you guys do. That's so cool. And I, I can bring I Chico and I can bring that. Chico with me. So <laughs> yeah, and you can bring your buddies. So that's yeah. awesome. We love that. Um, is there anything else um you want to tell any of the members watching um about your business or any like next moves you have coming up? I know we just kind of ended tax season and Well, know, but... yeah, we we got through the first deadline. Tax season never yeah. really ends, but okay. um kind of the way that it works is now with the frenzy of tax, the tax deadline being over, you know, we have a lot of work to get through. Um, and, um, you know, really kind of the tax season ends October, September, October after the okay. extensions. Um, but no, yeah, I guess, you know, the goal is to just keep it growing at a steady pace, not sure. to stay, 
not to get too overwhelmed because most accountants get pretty overwhelmed. Um, if anybody's interested in services, you know, I am available. Um, I do try to limit the type of services and the amount of, of clients I take on just so we can keep the level of service up. But yeah, if anybody has questions or anything, um, you know, I'm in office 110 in Greenwood Village. So <laughs> okay, feel free to reach out. we will um, be sure to post a link and you know contact info for you if people have any questions or are interested in your services um so look for that under this video though uh, you'll be able to get that information yep but website no website right now i just i oh, just want sure. to say no website right now um it's kind of uh we're kind of in between websites but sure. um email is the best way to get a hold of me so okay fabulous well we'll post that below the video um so people have that contact info um hey thank you so much for sitting down with me today i really appreciate it appreciate having you here as a member um thank you so much for watching uh this month's community spotlight and um we will see you next month with another interview um thanks guys have a good one thanks bye, -bye. John. bye. thank you